Welcome back, child. This is the here, and we are back playing a little more for River Stranded Lost Souls. And when we left off last episode, we had just finished doing up a whole bunch of our Better With Mod stuff. And today we're just going to kind of pick up with a little more uh, quest book, better questing items. I've been kind of looking around stuff to do. I really want to get the portal to the overworld. And pretty much from the looks of it, the only thing I have left is to take on the wither. However, my armor's still kind of not so much. Now, I have been thinking about trying to filter my mob farm a little bit better because this stuff's all full up now. Um, <clears throat> and kind of start taking some of these like unbreaking one with what do I got over here unbreaking two multi jump start combining some of these to get some decent you know protections and stuff like that but I haven't done it yet because I want to get more quest done now I didn't end up doing any more building because when I looked at the portal and realized that pretty close to me to get the portal and get to the overworld I thought it might be kind of like a lost cause to really spend time trying to build here in the nether because obviously we don't want to live here in the nether forever. So just kind of left that where it was. Hence, I also didn't move any of my better with mod stuff for that exact same reason. Now, I do want to show you that I did, and the reason this is so full, I uh, <laughs> I left my computer running uh, for about eight hours, not thinking about it, or left the game running. And what I thought I paused, I just kind of left myself in this crafting screen away over here, came back eight hours later and had close to, well, it's kind of hard to judge, but when I pulled all the experience out or whatever, at one point, um, I had like 115 levels of experience. But I also noticed that um, about every five levels, or sorry, every 500 experience orbs is about, well, I was getting 19 levels for 500. Um, I'm not close enough to really show it now, but I mean, a great example is right now I'm about 270. So if I take all this out, I'm at 17 levels. So... To give you an idea, 250, about 17 levels-ish. And, uh, or f there you go, 432, 17 levels. So about 19 levels per. Uh, so I was taking out 500 at a time, and then I started to do some of my uh, skills here. And so I've got all my skills up to at least level 14. And that means I can almost, still can't quite use it, but I can almost use my hammer here. I need 18 in attack and 15 in defense. So we're getting pretty close on that. But then also, I remember this one, and if you didn't know, if you hit L, it brings up, it's like a whole nother um, type of leveling up using points, and so I've started to kind of pay attention to uh, randomly doubles damage output for direct attacks. That seems like a good one, and as you can see, I've actually got a pretty decent sprint now. Oh, there we go. A pretty decent sprint now. Uh, thanks to those levels right there. I've leveled myself up a couple times on sprint. So now I'm at level five. And so it's plus 5% sprint for each level. So I'm plus 25% sprint. Those are awesome. Those are awesome. Those are going to be pretty game changing as the mob difficulty level keeps going up. So, and I don't remember if I had showed you guys this on a previous episode when I found this. I hit L because that's the same way you bring up your quests in uh, SevTech. And just out of habit, trying to bring up the quest book, I hit L, and that's when I, that popped up and I found that. So, anyways, without all that mumbo jumbo, we want to start grinding out some stuff. So, I've been looking at a couple things. Um, I did make this just actually a minute ago. Um, I'm just going to grab the two loot chests for that one. Uh, these, I'm just, well, you know, I can make the compressed diamond hammer right now. I've got a ton of diamonds. Let's go ahead and make that. Let us go ahead and make that. It's going to be 18 total diamonds. There we go. And wait a minute. Didn't I select the... It gave it to me anyway. Oh, was that just an item reward? Oh, that's kind of cool. And so I got some chance cube too. I didn't realize it was an item reward. Um, where is this? is my junk box, right? No chance cubes. No, thank you. And I'm going to go ahead and put these in here. And so this is literally just for questing purposes so i need what nine 27 ha huh, perfect okay so it is a hammer this one right here oh wait no i need to make you oh this is not a regular diamond this is this 
I can craft them with molten cores or creeper oysters. Or make nuggets, nine nuggets turns into the diamond. Eight. Oh, and a stoked crucible. Well, hey, we can use that stoked crucible. Does this just break into nuggets? Well, there we go. That's cool. Okay. So let's stoke our crucible over here. And start making those. Cool. That's going to take a while. We'll come back at the end of the episode for that one. <laughs> and I'll go ahead and put the sticks back for right now. Uh, and I've already made too many sticks. Okay, cool. Let's pop this loot chest and see what we got. Please be something cool. An absorption hopper. Those actually are super, super useful, and I love them. Um, inferior essence and an inferior paxel. Ooh, I can actually use it. This thing is good for mining and wood, I think. I forget. Attack speed slow, attack damage. I think, I think that works for mining too. I don't remember how the Paxels go, but hmm, we got one, so cool. I've got a couple of them, actually. Uh, that Paxel we just got right now, which is right there, and then, didn't I get other ones? I got the uh, Battle Axes. Oh, no, just Diamond Pickaxes. These Primal Core ones. That's what I was getting. Okay, anyways, uh, back to useful quests. So we'll come back to this compressed one eventually. I do want to start getting going on the automating the, 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 how do I not have a diamond stiff and mesh? I got Oh, cause I never crafted it. Okay. Well, what's the recipe for it? Let's look that up. Diamond stiffened mesh. There you are. That is an iron stiffened mesh with six diamonds. We can do that really quickly. Um, you the iron? Yeah, you are. Thank you. And the mob farm gets really, really loud. I try not to st stand around it too often because it is super annoying. Okay, diamonds have a mesh. Go oh, just another one because I've already had tons of them. And let's see what we get in our loot chest because I don't need another diamond stuff and mesh. Some dirt and some grass. That's always useful since I just used my other piece of grass. I may need that. Um, yeah, so anyways, that's enough right now with uh, the ex Nihilo stuff. Better with mods. There's a couple more things we can do. Um, I did uh, try to pick up all the blocks so I can get the credit for the kiln, but apparently the bottom block turns into a kiln, and so I just basically have to make more um, clay real quick. Oh, no, it's dust, not dirt. It's dust. What am I thinking? Ay yay yay. So let's go ahead and make this up real quick. And uh, I just need a, p a piece of cobble or a piece of stone. A cobble over here. And bingo. Boop. And it's kind of funny. Every time I do this, I slowly just get closer to the, the water while I'm running around doing that and I just knocked out a torch put that back down and then I can go over here and oh smelt smelty smelty over here that's what I'm gonna go do and smelt you a bit of bricks really quick get our five bricks and then we'll get that mission accomplished and I've been looking at doing some tinker stuff today I've been trying to avoid it but as I'm getting my levels up and I'm getting closer to being able to use there we go use some of the um, tinker stuff. I figured it's best if I start getting my tinker stuff going and they're kind of like, you know, just like on the horizon. So, um, I don't reward change to use wooden, ooh, six wooden axles. That's nice. Now, some of these, like this one over here, I need to unfire uh, urn and I didn't get credit for them because I did them out of order. So I've got to go back and do that again. So let's open this lantern of paranoia. Not all that useful. So let's go get some more clay. And we'll make another urn, I guess. Boop, boop. And that means I got to... Well, I... Oh, it's over here in this chest. Got to pull my turntable back out. I don't, don't think this can power from the side i think it does have to be the top but i'll try it real quick um 
Do you power from the side? Will you power from the side? No, this one has to be powered from the bottom. Okay. And this is going to break these into clay. Darn it. Do I have any more clay over here? I should have a little bit. I got one. Oh, I got four. Which I only need one. Hey, give me that. There we go. So, let's put that block back together. How are you guys doing? Six of you. Let's go ahead and pause you for just a second. You're not going to be stoked anymore for just a second. What are you hitting? Oh, you're hitting the absorption hopper. There we go. And let's put... I guess I should have picked you back up. And we'll put you... That absorption hopper does... It grabs everything before I can. Um, so we'll put the turntable right here. And clay back on top. And we need to get all the way to the urn. So let's speed this up. I'm glad that I now know that speed. Hey, why aren't you working? Why aren't you working? Why aren't you working? Oh, there it goes. That was weird. It's going like super slow. What's going on here? I don't know. Anyways. Earn. There we go. So that should be uh, mission complete there. There we go. And then I think I got to go fire it. I think that's the next accomplishment. Yeah. So let's go make the kiln again. Not that we didn't already have it, but now we'll make it and it'll be official. There we go. And now you become a kiln block, right? Or do I have to, like, put the item in it to turn you into a kiln? Okay, yeah. That's kind of funny. Or is this become the kiln? I don't know which one's become the kiln. I don't know. But it's doing its thing, right? I did that right, right? I didn't, like, put out the fire or anything, did I? Nope, you're fired under it. Do I need to, like, right-click on you? Did I... I didn't do anything weird when I set these blocks up last time. Why aren't you working? What's going on that this isn't working this time? I didn't think they had to be put down in any specific way. Um, let's put another piece of wood down there and try. I don't, I don't know what's going on with that. That's really random to me. I don't know. Let's grab another piece of wood and get that to fire back up and find out what's going on there. We did this just last time. This is, this is confusing me. This stuff can be a little bit annoying when that happens, but let's put that there. That should light the block in front of it. That should turn it into a kiln. I don't know if the fire has to start after the bricks are there or what, but... Whatever. It should work. Alright, cool. So while we're waiting on that now, let's go ahead and get this. Item reward. Creeper oysters. Uh, redstone latch. Those are useful. Uh, and another unfired. Okay, cool. Uh, what else can we do? This one. So we already done the hellfire dust. We need flint and sawdust. I think we already have both of those. I think I've got sawdust in here. So there's that. And flint. I'm pretty sure I got quite a bit of around here. Uh, not in mob drops, but in maybe useless items or useful items. No. I thought I had some flint. Flint is just... I, mean, I craft it with... Two gravel. Okay. Well, let's do that real quick. Uh, 16, so I'm going to need like 32 of these. So we'll just grab a whole stack. And turn you guys all into gravel. Whatever, just... There you go, do your thing. Come on. All right. There we go. Oh, my hammer broke, really? Uh, do I have another hammer in here that's not a compressed hammer? Yeah, there. oh, diamond hammer. Yep, that works. There we go. 
and turn that into flint. There we go. That should be mission accomplished. There we go. And let's go ahead and grab those loot chests there. Now, other ones we can do right now. The slime balls. I... Still says bricks. Why is this not working? What am I missing here? Does this have to be the last block that goes in? There it goes. Okay, apparently it just has to be the last block that goes in. Interesting. Um, so let's grab you and fire you up. And let us fill these holes back in. I really don't like having holes everywhere. Like so, so, and so. Perfect. Then we'll get that and get that achievement. Let's see what other ones we get. We got Vial of Vigor. We have a satchel that is useful i think i already got one before but i'm happy to see it right now it's a weak one but we can upgrade it we can definitely upgrade that that is something i can definitely put some useful stuff in so and there we go and that one's accomplished now too so let's go ahead and claim that um item rewards unearned <laughs> All right, cool. So we've we've got quite a few urns, which is good because I know we're gonna need them when I started looking at that Soul Forge steel or whatever. So those will definitely come in useful later. Let's put our billows back over here. And yes, you went in the absorption hopper again because you keep doing that. Billows, where you at? There you are. Let's put you back on here. And there you go. Now you're stoked. Sweet. All right, cool. So grab you, put you back over here with this. Oh, we'll just do that. There you go. And let's go put our tools back. So we're, we're, we're getting some stuff done. We're getting some stuff done. I'm happy with that. Let's see what else we got. We got some transfer nodes and some transfer pipes. Not a necessity at the moment, but always appreciated and useful. Um, let's see. Useless stuff, you get that. You, I'll put you over here with that. Um, I'm gonna call these oysters a mob drop. Um, I just, I wanna get my stuff organized, not too crowded. I'll put the sawdust in here for right now. Uh, building blocks, soul sand, actually, well, yeah, I don't need the filtered hopper at the moment, so that's fine. Uh, dirt goes in there, clay goes in there. Um, you're going to go over here until I find a place for you. And this is just going to go in the useless stuff. You know what? No, that's combat. I would call that combat. The vials of vigor. And the satchel will figure out in a minute what we want to do with it. Um, cobble, you go over here. And I'm pretty well sorted out other than putting the other one back over here. Okay. And so we'll put you in here with the rest of your buddies. All right, cool. So let's see what else we've got on the horizon for today. Um, that's done. Okay, so slime balls. That's what we're looking at. Slime balls. Uh, I think you can just do slime balls and like wash them off with water or magma creams and wash them off with water, can't you? Wait, why don't I just click on slime? Okay, slime. Um, dirt with liquid. Nope, that's not going to work. Uh, congealed slime or slime block will give me nine. I hope you're over there getting killed. That's what's making that sound. Um, what else? A jellyfish, a pearl essence, uh, a cauldron. Oh, that's the other cauldron. I was trying that before. Wait, how did I do my slime balls before? Oh, the rice slime balls. That's right. That's right. But do those count? Those count. I think... Nope, I already cooked it up. Oh, yeah, that's right. You know, I got some in here. All right, so let's try this. Let us try this. That's going to give me a whole bunch of those. And then to make a slime ball, I need a water bucket. And where's my bucket at? Bucket. There we go. Three of them. I should have some water on me. Or some water over here. I haven't used it all, have I? Oh, one, two. Come over here. And let's see if I can remember this recipe. Was it this? It was. Four slime balls. Eight slime balls. If I make nine, can I make the slime block like that? Let us grab a whole bunch of leaves. 
so I can go make water. 30, uh, 4, 8, 12, yeah, 24. Oh, perfect. That'll work. Okay, so fill you guys up. I'll get some more water. Be able to make some more rice balls. And hopefully, let me let me double check that. Can you be, you can be used to making the slime block and then the slime block can be broken back down. That'll give me 18. And I don't think I only needed 16. Uh, yeah, 16. Okay, cool. So that one's going to be done once the water's done. So we're doing this. We're doing this. Um, can't do the upgraded yet because I need steel and I'm not to the point of steel yet. Um, I can make green dye super easy. Yellow dye and red dye. Um, I guess I can go bone meal. Do I have any bones? <laughs> That's a good question. Um, I have no bones. Huh. And am I getting bones over at the mob drop? Am I getting any like wither skeleton bones or anything like that? I am not getting bones. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna have to clear this out so I can start collecting bones. So I guess I really can't get flowers yet unless I already have some and just didn't realize it. I've got one dandelion. That's not gonna cut it. Okay, so that is not something we can do right this second, but now, I want to get into tinkering. Not that I want to do tinkering so much. I kind of said it multiple times that I don't really care to do too much tinkering right now, at least not on camera. But I do want to start unlocking some of the stuff and start getting further down. And I don't know what here may unlock stuff later, so I want to get it kind of done. So let's look at, I'm figuring I just have to make the whole thing. Um, a seared tank, two seared bricks, a smeltery, a smeltery control, and a faucet. I did in preparation for this, already make up all the seared bricks. So all I gotta do is just make all these items. So there's the faucet. There's the smeltery controller. Do I need a furnace? Wait, hold on. Let's look at Smeltery. Smeltery drain, well let's do that one first. I can do the, the drain and then the controller. I have to Pour, how does that work? Smeltery controller. I have to pour seared stone on top of the melter. Well, that's interesting because I need the melter to get the seared stone. That can't be right. Hold on. That can't be right. I have to make up another melter just to do this? This, That just doesn't make sense. Hold on. Smeltery controller. The brain of the smeltery. You're telling me I have to make another smeltery controller and pour seared stone on it. I'm... Uh, watch this. This is going to be ingenious. This is going to be ingenious. We're going to take you and you okay we're gonna make another drum real quick what's the recipe for a drum drum or just a tank whatever um what's the cheap one stone drum actually you know what i wish i could just empty that other one um well you know what we'll make the sear tank i don't know do i have any glass i don't have any glass but i can make up some sand real quick uh let's go make up some sand we'll try to we're gonna try to cheat the system here we're gonna try and transfer seared over into another tank and then pour it over a basin. That's what we're going to try to do right now. I think this should work. It seems pretty reasonable to me that we should be able to do this. So let's hope for the best here. Anytime I can cheat the system, I am all about it. All right, so let's make up some glass there. We'll make a smeltery tank. And then... Uh, I think it's four. I think it's four. Smeltery tank. Where are you at? This one right here. Nope, it's the porcelain tank with seared brick poured over it. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and make a... <laughs> this is going to happen. This is so going to happen. Okay, there's the bowls right there. Um, I need to grab some stone. What is the recipe again? Drum. 
Uh, stone, stone slabs. I think I've got a couple over here. I think I made some stone slabs before. I think I thought I got one. One, two, three. Okay. Oop, wrong way. And we're going to make you up. Boop, boop, boop. And of course I need one more cobblestone. I grabbed five. Why would I grab five? No recipe ever uses five. Well, other than a hopper. But other than that, no recipe uses five. All right. So we're going to go ahead and put this drum right here. Then we're going to put the channel right here. And we're going to put this faucet right here. And we're going to pour out three blocks worth. Hopefully that's enough. I'm hoping that's enough. And then we're going to hook this faucet up to this drum and pour it right over this basin with these two items in there. And I'm hoping that's going to work. How much do I need to do this? I need 280. Oh, yeah. Yep, 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 yep. This is so about to work. I'm so about to cheese the system. I'm not making extra ones. That's just not going to happen. Um, so... I'll just put the drum right on top of here, like that, and we'll put the faucet right there, and <laughs> hopefully I can cheese this, hopefully this works, All right? And so apparently I put this in here, and then, what? No! No! I thought this was going to work! Why don't you want to work? Why don't you want to pour out of there? I so thought that was going to work. Oh, hold on. Does this... If I put the channel on here... Can I do it this way? Or is that just not going to work? If I do this... Like so... I'm just going to pick this up and move it over to put it on... And put you right here. By the way, I made this by accident. Um, I can't say by accident. I didn't. I forgot I had this one sitting back here and made another one because I needed a casting basin to make some seared brick and stuff. And now I've got two. All right. So if I do this, will this work? Nope. It's just going into that. It's not going. What? <coughs> Whoa. Hey, chill out. I was really hoping here. <clears throat> do I need to... Can I make a fluid duct? Can I make a fluid duct? Will fluid ducts work? Fluid duct should work, right? Fluid duct. <coughs> fluid duct. Um, will break if it contains extremely hot or cold. I don't want that one, so I'm going to have to do the hardened. That is invar and lead. And I need the smeltery to make those. So let's just hope for the best. Copper and lead. Okay. Um, copper, copper, copper. I've got you. One, two. And lead, I just need one. Okay. We can smelt that up real quick. Hopefully this works. Hopefully. Hey. How did you get out here? Get out of here. Why can't I ever hit these guys? Um, you get lead. Hopefully... Oh, I might have to make a servo too, huh? Uh, what's the recipe for servo? Cheap servo. Uh, iron, iron, glass, and redstone. Well, fortunately, I've got the glass now, so. Um, redstone. Iron, iron. And iron, iron. Make up the servo real quick. Like so. <clears throat> All right, let's try this. Did that empty? How is that stone drum empty? It did not put it all into here. That did not completely empty all that into there. What is going on? Why am I going crazy right now? Can I... I'm going to start like moving stuff around in really weird ways. Um, can I connect you? Will you connect like that? No, you won't. 
This is gonna frustrate me. I'm gonna I'm gonna beat the system here. It's gonna happen. I need to move you. And put the drum back down. <laughs> okay. This is gonna happen. I, I'm winning right now. I'm so winning. Um Okay, so let's go move you over here real quick. My inventory is getting so full of nonsense. Okay, if I put you here and I put you there and I just need a building block real quick, a, a piece of grass that, or a piece of leaf, that'll work. Okay, cool. And then I put the drum right here and then I place this guy right here and I place servo on here and I place servo on here and I set you to ignore. This is the fluid duct, right? Yeah. Oh, there we go. Does it need more? What's going on? Do I need more seared stone? I'm so utterly confused right now. No, see, there's the seared brick right there. Okay. I'm going to beat the system. It's not letting me put the seared stone. So, wait, hold on. What am I missing? What am I missing? The controller. Seared furnace controller. Smelter controller. Which one do I need? Is it seared furnace controller I need? No, it's a smelter controller. These are the last two. I mean, I can make the bricks real quick. That's super easy. Right? So, this is so confusing me right now, why it's doing this. Yeah, there's like three bricks in here. But it's not putting it on the smelter controller. Do I, ha does it have to come from the smelter? Do I, is it gonna make me make another one? Is it gonna force the issue? So let's put you back. And... Oh, I'm doing the wrong one. Gosh darn it. This is the heater. Well, that should have been making the other one anyways, right? That was the one I was supposed to be putting in there. Hold on, let's try this again. So once this is all cooked up... Okay, so let's cook these three blocks back up. And we'll put this basin right here, like so. And we'll put a faucet on it. I'm getting a little defeated here, just a little bit defeated. So it's the porcelain heater. So, um, tank. I want the smeltery tank. That is, oh, no, it's the porcelain tank. That I gotta put it on. That's why the other one wasn't working. Okay, this should have worked. I just need to... Yeah, it should have worked. I just need to go make that tank. Okay, so we need to go make some porcelain clay is what I need to do. Because I don't have the porcelain tank. Um, so I've got to make that. So I need eight porcelain clay and a glass. Uh, porcelain clay is unfired porcelain clay. Two clay and nether quartz. Okay, we've got clay in here. Um, that's going to give me eight clay and where's the quartz at? Um, I know I've got quartz right there somewhere. It's not a mob. Oh, useful, useful stuff. There it is. So I need four of you. Oh, a little frustrating, a little frustrating. There we go. There's those eight. Let me fire those up. That does have to be cooked right before I cook this. Yeah, those have to be cooked. Okay. So we'll cook those up real quick. Put that around some glass. Then I can go put some sear. Okay. Now we've got it. Now we've got it. It's going to happen. Oh, goodness. All right, there we go. So I tried to cheat to do the system. And I think my, my general concept of cheating the system was good. I was just trying to put the wrong item in there. All right, so that should be all seared up over there. Within a couple seconds. So you're the one, yeah, you're almost there. Okay, so we're gonna get this done and we'll get this all put together and we'll finally get some tinker stuff going. Let me take away my rig over here. 
like so. And I'm going to still have to transfer some seared uh, stone over to the tank. But then I'll be able to put it on the melter, which is what I needed to do. Or not the melter. Yeah, the melter to make the controller. And then we'll be good. Then we will be good. So let us hurry up and get this done. And through the magic of editing, it is done. And now I pour the seared stone on that. And we get our seared tank. Perfect. I'm going to pick you up. We're going to go ahead and put you right here and put the channel right there pour out the rest of this into here and then reverse the process okay so we're gonna pick you up pick you up pick you up and pick you up now we'll put the, the drum here put the basin back down Put the melter inside. Where's the melter at? Did you... You didn't get picked up by this absorp absorption hopper, did you? No, where's the melter at? Oh, it's right there. <laughs> well, you, you didn't get picked up by that, did you? Okay, there you go. And... Faucet. Let me try this again. Yep, okay, it does work. Okay, cool. I was literally just trying to put it in the wrong one. That's the, That was the problem. I was trying to put it in the wrong one. And... Smelter controller. Sweet. Mission complete. After a lot of fumbling around and trying to be creative and stuff, I wasn't as creative as I was trying. I wanted to be. Okay, so if... That's so scary when I hear that. Alright, and we'll just put you in here, you in here, you in here. I uh, don't really need you. I'm going to make the world's smallest smeltery right now just to kind of get started so there's you there's you tank there drain there controller there and we got one block the world's smallest smelter controller it's as small as it gets and i guess i can go get some lava real quick and we'll get that thing fired up. Actually, you know what? I won't even do that right now. That's just kind of a waste of time. But let's get our achievement collected. There we go. All that for just a loot chest. And... A wood modular cart and a wood rail, which I'm just going to go throw away. So, yeah. Bye. Bye. All right, cool. So, all, although there was a little crazy fumbling around at the end i did finally figure it out we got the smelter controller i'm gonna get going on making a whole bunch more uh uh bricks i've got these right here so i can make a few more like four more um so i could technically do a two by one two three yeah i can add it i can i can add two to it and then i'll go get some lava and stuff like that and i'll just grow it out over time so yeah at least we've we've got it now, and now you're uh, a two by. All right, cool. So our smelter is going to grow slowly but surely. It's going to grow and grow up and be a big smeltery eventually. But I think today has been pretty useful. We got you know our our step in the right direction for uh, tinker better with mods. Oh, you know what? We were working on slime balls. We were working on slime balls. Um, I just needed water, right? That's what I needed. Where's my other bucket? I had three buckets, didn't I? Did I leave one in the... I did. Let's finish making our slime balls. I know I'm, like always, past time, but I just start figuring these are 40-minute episodes, right? They're not 30-minute episodes. They're 40-minute episodes. That's all there is to it. All right, so that's 20. That should be able to craft up two of these. Right? And then I break those back down into slime balls. And that's... Yeah. There we go. Cool. So we got our slime. Awesome. Done. Oh. Uh, loot chest. Done. <coughs> oh, yeah. And uh, don't forget about the diamonds. Diamond shoot. Ah, yes. We've got our diamonds now. Let me go... Did you guys see that little orange slime pop up over here? I saw something. Maybe it was just a spark. I don't know. It looked like a little orange slime ball bouncing. Um... But let's grab our sticks and go bingo bingo and do do do. 
And now my inventory is so full, I can't actually do that. So let's check our loot chest. Another satchel. Can I like put those together and upgrade them? That would be so awesome. All right, so we'll just clear out some space. Um, this one's empty. Let's do this. Um, nothing here. I don't want anything that's going to pulverize. <laughs> let's use this chest over here. I don't have anything in here. Um, let's just get all of this stuff out of my inventory real quick. Everything that's completely useless to me at the moment. Make those. And then bink, 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 bink. And there we go. We got our compressed hammer. Awesome. So we've got, we got some stuff done. And, you know, I, I feel very happy about that. I do. <clears throat> I mean, the more... The more we get done, the the further we get along. Rendering Gale. Fly, push, and pull mobs or shoot lightning while raining. What? Hold on. Magenta Runic Dust. So, if you're telling me, if I say, hold on, we gotta go test this out before, before we finish up. You're telling me I can move mobs around? I can just pick them up and... That would be awesome. No way that's going to work. <coughs> Too bad I can't do it to myself. Um, I got to come way over here because these are the only mobs I can reach. Uh, because of my magma torches, they kind of keep them all away. Which is a good thing. Although when I need to go find mobs, I got to come way over here. Um, usually there's a whole bunch right around here. Come on, where are all the mobs at? Really? None? No mob. I can't go anywhere without being her out. Oh, there we go. Can I do it from a distance? Rendering Gale. Hold on. Let's go Let's go mess with this zombie pig man a little. Oh, what's that? Oh, that's probably Ghostwood Tree. Let's see. So how does this work? How do you work? I don't get it. What did it say? Fly, push, and pull mobs, or shoot lightning while raining. Uh, automatically absorbs feather. It's got, oh, zero charges. I gotta add feathers to it. Okay, well that was just a waste of time, because apparently I gotta add feathers, so. Maybe next time. Maybe next time. Hopefully I can get back home going this direction. <sighs> Always getting burnt. All right, guys. Well, I hope you guys are enjoying. I'm <clears throat> I'm having a lot of fun. I mean, some of the stuff is just, you know, I, I'm going to have to grind it out. But I don't want to do everything off camera. So I do want to spend some time doing, you know, some things on camera. Like, you know, today with the tinkering and stuff like that. I've mentioned before, I don't really want to do tinkering because everybody's seen it a million times. But I think the trying to get these two parts was kind of useful to do uh, and just trying to figure out a use, you know, unique way to get them so I didn't have to rebuild them. So I thought that was kind of useful. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. If there's more stuff you guys want to see or if you've got any tips or tricks for me, please let me know down in the comments. You guys should know by now I always down to hear a tip or trick that's going to be helpful for me. So until next time, travelers, y'all know the deal. I am Slaughter Havoc and I am out of here. Peace.